What is up guys, it's your boy Summer Cacus, and today the Solstice of Heroes event has just gone live within Destiny 2, and we're going to be showcasing how to upgrade your brand new Solstice armor from absolute dumpster fire trash to some of the best armor with some of the best stats in the entire game. And guys, I have a ton of tips as well to make this whole process as fast and easy as possible. And so, let's get started. But just before we do... Hey! Raid sent you this. Raid Shadow Legends sent this? Uh, we love your stuff, we want you to do another ad. I don't care what they want because what I want is more referral friends! As you guys know, I play Raid a lot. A lot. Okay, and I only have one referral friend, so listen, I need you to get Raid and be my friend. It's gonna help my account, it's gonna help your account, and most importantly, it's gonna help my account, okay? I need this gamer. In fact, as soon as this video goes live, I'm gonna be in the Cacus HD Discord, helping people get the perfect start to their Raid accounts. Everything is linked down below. And right now is the perfect time to start Raid. The Call of the Arbiter limited series is live where you can learn so much about the lore behind the game and it's bringing with it a bunch of new rewards and champions, including the fact that you can get the incredible legendary champion Artak by simply logging on for seven days before July 24th. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below or scan the QR code and you're gonna get this free starter pack. Also hop in the Discord to be coached by your boy personally and let's get my referral friends maxed out. All right, now first things first, you're gonna wanna head to the tower and talk to Eva Levante. She's gonna get you started with a specific Solstice of Heroes quest. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is a bonfire bash. That is the special activity that's only available during this event. So how does bonfire bash work? Well, what you're going to see initially is this new area and you are going to, after dispelling the uh, Taken Blight, you're gonna have to kill a bunch of enemies. Certain areas on the map will be marked and you want to head to those marked areas, kill enemies and as you kill more enemies eventually a special yellow bar called the ignition carrier will spawn. When you kill this guy he's going to drop three igniters. So head to them, pick them up and as you can see you throw them at the bonfire to get one igniters consumed in the top left corner of your screen. Now, a couple of very important things. Mainly, these igniters do not last for a very long time. You're gonna have around seven or eight seconds before they disappear. So if you're trying to pick them up and then walk around the map to get closer to the bonfire, likely by the time you turn around, the other two will be gone. So either make sure all of your teammates are nearby so each of your three teammates can pick up one igniter and throw them all, or guys, you can actually yeet these from across the map. They do have a good degree of tracking as you can see. So one person, if you're fast, can get all three igniters on the bonfire. Now importantly, the more igniters you get in the time you have to do this bonfire bash, the more resources you're going to acquire. We'll talk more about that in a sec, but there is actually a cap. As you can see right here, if you get to 30 igniters consumed, you're going to stop the timer and the boss will instantly spawn. Now, as you're doing this whole process, sometimes a bunch of Taken will spawn. You have to go to an area of the map on the rooftops, uh, kill a Blight, kill a certain Taken guy, and get back to getting those igniters. Definitely when this is happening, be sure to use the man cannons uh, throughout this arena to get around a lot faster. In any event guys, once you're done with all that, as long as you have at least one piece of the Solstice Armor equipped upon finishing, you're going to get Silver Ash and your quest step is going to update. Now you have to apply the first upgrade to your Solstice Armor piece. But to do that, you're going to need another resource called Kindling, and Kindling is going to be found in your Solstice Event card. As you can see, you kind of get one challenge off the rip for just doing that initial bonfire, and then a whole bunch more challenges will unlock. You have stuff like having to use rocket launchers or shotguns to kill enemies, killing bosses, killing guardians, a bunch more stuff. And so you have to keep an eye on these challenges and 
ensure that you're doing things and using weaponry and loadouts that can complete these challenges to get that kindling. But once you do have the kindling, as you can see right here, you go into your Solstice armor piece, you apply a small kindling, you have to do small kindling first to unlock the other two kindlings, and then once you apply the small kindling, you can apply the glowing embers with your silver ash. Now, what that is gonna do, as you can see, is dramatically increase the stats of your armor. I get like 20 points of discipline when I do this upgrade. But once you're done with upgrading, the quest is gonna update and now it wants you to go and collect more silver leaves. And now we're really in the proper gameplay loop for how Solstice of Heroes work. So you go out into the world and do activities to collect silver leaves, then you do Bonfire Bash to convert those silver leaves into silver ash, and then you're gonna do the different challenges in your event card, and once you have enough kindling combined with silver ash you can upgrade a piece of armor to massively improve its stats but there are so many tips for how to do this efficiently let's start with silver leaves how do you get silver leaves as fast as possible well Initially, we tried to go uh, into the Witch Queen campaign, do that investigation mission. That actually doesn't work. As you can see, no silver leaves drop from this activity. Bungie probably did that on purpose. The next thing we tried was going and killing Dull Umkaru, or whatever it's called, the final boss for the Shattered Throne dungeon. As you can see right here, this does drop silver leaves with around two, sometimes one, but mostly two, dropping from killing this guy. And as long as you have someone in your fire team holding a checkpoint, you can keep loading into here extremely fast. This is going to be a great silver leaf farm. But to compare it to a baseline, we also did just a normal Vanguard Ops strike and we got around six silver leaves. Now, importantly, while we were testing these farming strategies, we were also testing if having different amounts of Solstice armor equipped had any impact on how many silver leaves you get. And it turns out, it really doesn't. Like for the strike, for example, I only had one piece of Solstice armor equipped, as you can see, and my teammate Amateur had all five pieces of Solstice armor. And the result? I got six silver leaves and he got seven. So yeah, maybe you'll get one more silver leaf. I think it was just random, like sometimes you get plus one or minus one for these activities. And overall, that means that I can have all of my juiced, masterworked, you know, full of mods armor on and an exotic piece on, and he has trash stats on, terrible armor pieces on, no exotic armor, and he gets one more silver leaf, and sometimes it's gonna be the same amount of silver leaves. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth only using one piece of solstice armor if you're farming silver leaves. That's a huge tip. Another tip actually is going to be the Altars of Sorrow. So you actually wanna head here anyways because there's going to be an event card challenge for beating waves of Altars of Sorrow that gives you two kindling and you can get that done completely by going from wave one all the way and defeating the final boss. But also, as you can see for defeating the final boss, look at how many silver leaves you get. Like this is actually insane. So especially if you load into Altars and you find a group that's already at or near the boss fight, oh my goodness, stick around because again, you get a ton of silver leaves apparently. So that's how to get silver leaves efficiently, but now let's talk about how to turn it into ash efficiently because it's actually going to matter a ton in Bonfire Bash how many pieces of solstice armor you have on. So in here, we did another experiment. We had one teammate with only one piece of solstice armor on. And I had just my exotic on and my other teammate had all five pieces on. And it turns out myself and my teammate with all five pieces got the same amount of ash with 60 ash each. 
and then the teammate that only had one piece of solstice armor on got 12 ash. So very important tip there. There's actually no difference between using four solstice armor pieces and five. So you might as well make room for an exotic armor piece, which is going to massively help you out in that activity. But I wouldn't go any lower than those four pieces because yeah, you definitely don't want to get like pittance in terms of ash. During our testing, we were also able to confirm that more ignitions equals more ash converted. However, it's not one-to-one. -one. So if you have 20 ignitions and you have 20 silver leaves, it's not gonna use all 20. It's gonna use around 12, it seems like, pretty much every time. And so that means you're really just going for that 30 ignition mark so you can stop the timer and get out of the activity faster more than anything else. But again, guys, while you're doing all this stuff, make sure you're checking your event card for challenges you can be completing at the same time. A tip I have for you guys involving the challenge wanting you to use shotguns, hand cannons, or rocket launchers is that if you have it, put on the eyes of tomorrow because if you kill four enemies, you get your ammo back. So as you can see, especially in Bonfire Bash, you can just go to a rooftop and then just absolutely destroy enemies spawning over and over and over again with the Eyes of Tomorrow super easily. Just farm spawns, not only get that um, challenge done a lot faster, but also frankly, just get the activity done faster and help your team. So definitely keep an eye on that exotic for this activity. In any event, guys, the quest is gonna take you through this process somewhat as well, and it's going to give you some silver leaves from time to time, but eventually you will need three pieces of kindling to have the final fully rekindled benefit provided, as you can see right here, and then once you actually equip that, you're gonna get your armor glow, and that mod slot, as you can see, will completely disappear. Now, in terms of the ash, as you can see, that option will change as well. Now you can pick a specific stat you want to upgrade. I went with discipline for even better stats. And once you do that, as you can see, that mod slot will again disappear. And now you have a fully upgraded piece of solstice armor. Importantly, guys, you only have to do this once with each type of armor. So I did it with my helmet. Now all future helmets I get will be fully rekindled. So they're going to drop, you know, 60 plus stats almost every time and be juiced off the rip. And then I can potentially uh, use Silver Ash, I think, to give them another targeted stat boost, but they will absolutely be juiced going forward. So now you just have to do that same process with all of your other armor pieces. Importantly, though, guys, you do want to follow Evil Avante's quest line and complete it so when you fully max out a piece of gear go and talk to her and as you can see she's just gonna straight up offer you an identical quest to what you just did and you absolutely want to grab this before upgrading your next piece of armor because several of the steps throughout this quest are gonna give you free silver leaves right so she gives you like six or four silver leaves during this quest line so that's like uh, uh, several free activities worth of silver leaves that Eva's gonna give you. So make sure you're just kind of also doing that quest at the same time you're upgrading your gear just to make things more efficient. But guys, that's gonna be it for the video. That's how to get this armor upgraded. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.